First Lady Jill Biden and Secretary of the Interior Deb Holland are visiting Northeast Wisconsin with a few goals in mind. They're looking to bring attention to the needs of Native Americans in the community, like broadband internet, improved infrastructure, and sustainable agriculture. I saw how the Menominee people and the U.S. Department of Agriculture are working together to bring federal resources here so that the tribe can continue to sustain, sustainably manage the forest using knowledge that was passed down from generation to generation. The Menominee tribe owns a sawmill on the reservation. Biden and Holland stopped there to meet tribal leaders with the goal of highlighting the Biden administration's focus on sustainable agriculture and economic development. It's a high demand job and not a lot of people. Yeah, well, that brings your salary up, right? Yeah, it does. Value. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The two arrived at a school to cheers from children. For many young people held signs in support of Holland, who herself is a Native American of the Pueblo tribe of New Mexico. Indigenous peoples and indigenous women in particular are at the forefront of our fight to protect the lands, waters, and wildlife that give us everything we need to live and thrive. Biden and Holland visited the College of Menominee Nation, where they spoke to instructors and students about sustainable agriculture. What have you learned in the research? They ended their trip with the Women's Empowerment Summit at the Menominee Casino Resort. We are determined to ensure that women like you and future generations of leaders who will shape our communities for the better have the resources we all need to thrive. Your now, leadership and wisdom will inspire the girls who will inherit this earth. The trip focused on some of the ways the Menominee tribe will most directly and immediately see the results of the Biden administration's work, like building a schoolyard at the Menominee Tribal School. On the Menominee Reservation, I'm Margaret Cahill, NBC26.